Hey everyone, it's Jack from Cultaholic.com, back again with another news update. Now I should mention first of all that myself and Adam Pacitti are about to do a live stream of tonight's Raw in a couple of hours, live on YouTube, so please do get involved if you're planning to watch the Superstar Shake Up. And that brings me to this news piece because there have been several rumours of various different news sites reporting on various different superstars backstage at Raw, which could give some indication as to the nature of this year's Superstar Shake Up, specifically tonight, you know, Raw's show. Not tomorrow's at SmackDown. We'll report on that tomorrow as and when things begin to occur. But tonight, I'm going to do a little roundup of all the names that have been mentioned that will be backstage at tonight's Raw show. And I should point out as well that these are potential spoilers. Potential spoilers. Potential. First of all, PW Insider have reported that Rusev is one of the names backstage. This is very important. Maybe not so much in terms of the superstar shakeup, because as we'll come to find out later on, there are a good number of SmackDown superstars backstage at Raw. Too many to be included as part of the shakeup, certainly. So there might be a little way of WWE to kind of throw people off the scent by including too many of the SmackDown superstars. And then, you know, it'll throw everybody into a bit of confusion. But it's important that Rusev is there, certainly, because of all of these rumours recently that he has fallen out with WWE. He is backstage at Raw, which seems to suggest that he's not quite gone, or at least not gone yet, if things are looking bad. But I think this is going to confound a lot of people, primarily because, of course, Rusev has been tweeting some weird stuff. He took out all mentions of WWE from his Twitter account from his bio and that sort of thing and also uh, because he was of course replaced in that casket match against The Undertaker at the upcoming Greatest Royal Rumble show in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. So that's very important indeed, Rusev is backstage. However, in other news, SE Scoops have of course, as I mentioned, reported that various SmackDown superstars are going to be there. So it kind of throws the whole thing open. It's, it certainly doesn't necessarily mean that Rusev is going to appear on Raw as a Raw superstar now, although I'd quite like to see that because obviously he's not having the best time at SmackDown despite his rampant popularity with the crowd. Uh, also, I think it's worth pointing out the, uh, the featured image that WWE have used it includes both the Intercontinental Seth Champion Seth Rollins and the US Champion Jinder Mahal as well, potentially implying that they could do one of those classic WWE switcheroos of the secondary titles where the Intercontinental Champion gets shifted to the other brand and the US Champion gets shifted to the other brand. And that would of course mean that Rollins would end up on SmackDown and Jinder would end up on Raw. Now, I kind of historically associate the Intercontinental Championship with Raw and the US one with SmackDown, but I guess it would just take a little bit of time to get used to if the two titles were indeed to switch brands. On the other hand, this featured image could mean absolutely nothing and it could just be WWE putting it on there to kind of try and confuse us once again. Sneaky WWE, but I understand why I'd do the same if I was them. Next up, we're going to take a look at a tweet from a Twitter account called at Wrestling Votes. I'm not entirely certain how reputable a source this is, but it did pick up a number of retweets and that sort of thing, and it was reported on a number of wrestling websites. So maybe it is a bit of a more credible source than it might seem at first glance. Uh, they have reported that Drew McIntyre is also backstage at Raw because I guess with all the attention placed on the shakeup, people will be looking for SmackDown superstars to come over to Raw and may have taken their eye off the goings on down at NXT. Personally, and this is just my gut instinct, I don't know how much credence there is to that story of Drew potentially debuting purely because he has been very open in stating that his next target is Andrade Cien Olmas, the man against whom he was injured when he lost his NXT championship. So. I think, and this is just like my gut feeling, this isn't based on any evidence or anything, but I think that Drew will possibly stay in NXT for now and have a final blow-off match against Armas before being called up to the main roster once again. Back to PW Insider now, who have also reported the big cast is backstage, another name like Drew McIntyre, who has been injured for a number of months now. Uh, big Cass, of course, was a Raw superstar anyway. This wouldn't signify any sort of change in the shakeup, but I guess Tonight of all nights is maybe a good good enough time as any to bring Cass back from injury, a time when we're expecting big returns and big debuts on different brands and stuff. I guess this, yeah, I guess this would be a good enough time to bring big Cass back. I'd be interested to see if they changed his ring name at all, maybe to try and distance him from the whole Enzo Amore situation. Or maybe, I guess, just because he was known as Big Cass in singles competition anyway, they'll just keep him as Big Cass. The alternative would, of course, be reverting his name to the old Colin Cassidy name, their name that he used to go by. But then again, WWE seem to enjoy shortening names when they are on the main roster for a while, such as, you know, Alexander Rusev, Adrian Neville, that sort of thing, Antonio Cesaro. There's been so many who've lost their names. Who was the most recent one? Oh, Ruby Riot gained a letter, of course, didn't she? She gained a T, so she's gone against the grain slightly, I guess. But I, mm, 
I guess I would be surprised if Big Cass was reverted back to Colin Cassidy, but maybe he'll just still be known as Big Cass, and maybe he will indeed make his return on tonight's Raw. And finally, some news from Dave Meltzer, who has reported that WWE are looking to diversify their commentary teams and it could lead to some big commentary changes in the future. He said that they are looking to employ commentators or hire commentators or insert people into commentary roles who fit certain Democrats. And while he didn't speculate too much on what that generally meant, he did specify one particular type of change and he thinks that they're gonna bring in a female commentator at some point. Um, then the site that I read this from, which I believe was SE Scoops, did say that they think that it could be Beth Phoenix. She's done a bit of commentary now and then. Uh, she also appeared, of course, in the first ever Women's Royal Rumble back in January. So she is currently, you know, working with WWE in a part-time capacity. So I can see that happening, I think. Maybe also Lita, who's done commentary, of course, for the Mae Young Classic and that sort of thing. Uh, but yes, apparently WWE are looking to diversify their commentary teams further, and that could well include bringing in a female commentator onto one of the main roster teams. Thank you very much for watching this news piece. I've been Jack from Cultaholic.com and once again, do not forget to check out myself and Adam Pacitti's live stream of tonight's Raw Superstar Shake Up, uh, which starts when Raw starts in a few hours. So look forward to that, join in, get involved, give us a few messages, give us a bit of chat and that sort of thing, you know. We're so very tired still after WrestleMania weekend. You can follow me on Twitter at Jack the Jobber, you can follow all of us at Cultaholic and you can check out our Patreon too, patreon.com forward slash cultaholic and never forget of course to join us.